Hi everybody, it's AJ and Jeanette from AJ's Personal Touch. How are you doing today? I'm feeling a little better. I hope I look a little better. Um, I'm on to do Feline Fiesta, Furtastic Feline Fiesta Friday. I only have a couple to show you. I'm actually short by one. I should have uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm short by three, I guess. I thought I caught myself up. Unless there's one sitting here. No, because I should have seven, but I only have five. <laughs> So I evidently didn't get caught up two days ago like I thought I did. I um anyway, I need to do two more, so that means I need to do three today. I think that's right. I didn't do any last night. I didn't feel good, so I should have done two last night. So yeah, I knew I had to do three today. I'm like going in the head. Four of them are just on the circles. And then I made this new puff, puffer fish. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make any more of them. I didn't mind doing the body. I didn't mind doing this tail here because it was added on. But I was supposed to sew these fins on. But I actually attached them as I crocheted them. So I think they look okay. I left the eyes off. It's going to be another eyeless one. And this was actually supposed to be a different color right here. But I figured the same color worked. Um, I didn't want to make the eyes and have to sew them on. I do not want to make a cat toy that I have to sew on so many pieces. It's going to be so easy for the cat to get in there. Plus, then it tells you to put the eyes on after you fill, you know, you put the stuffing in it. I don't want to do that either because it's harder when you put everything on. So if you've never done amigurumi before and you're getting ready to do one and it has all the things, try to put them on before you add the stuffing because once you add the stuffing, it makes it harder. So those are my cat toys for this week. By the way, welcome back to my subscribers and welcome into anybody new. In case I forgot to say that, I think I told you guys welcome back, but I didn't do the other. My brain is out to lunch, as you can tell. Today has been a pretty kind of a good day. I got up. Um, plumbers came over. We had plumbers here on Tuesday, I think it was, try and clean out our main drain. And it turns out that, I guess, thick toilet paper makes a sludge and then it wouldn't let it do it so they had to come out and get the power washer and get in there and of course that costs more money and we have had a drain in our sink that has not worked for years in the kitchen so we have been using tubs and putting the water either in the toilet or in the tub after we're done washing dishes or whatever they cleaned out our drain like my friend said it must feel fantastic to have plumbing again. And let me tell you, it feels fantastic to have plumbing again. My grandma had to do that. My whole entire life, that's all I remember, is they must have had a messed up sink and they couldn't get it fixed. And they were in the country, so they didn't have, like we do with the city, you know, where it's on the city waste system. They had their own um I'm not thinking their own well in the back of the house. So they evidently couldn't get things fixed themselves. And I'm actually surprised that my dad or one of his brothers did not fix it for them when they got older. And it may be that they offered and my grandma and my grandpa said, nope, don't want you to do it. Sorry. Because they had problems in their bathroom too. I can remember having to throw away toilet paper for my entire life over there. We've had to do that this week, and that has been terrible. Not for any TMI or anything, but, you know, I was really glad to see the plumbers on Tuesday. I was really sad when they left and they couldn't fix it. Actually, they were here Monday because we had to go all weekend. And we, my husband called them last Thursday, and they couldn't get here, you know, because it was a holiday weekend and, you know, and all. We had to wait till Monday. So we had already been dealing with it for a week because we were told it was just a backup because of all the water in the area. And we live close to the septic, um, the waste management 
in our city. And so we were told that it was just because everything was backed up. So things were backing up. They backed up so bad. They were completely clogged. And when it should have been able to go, it was not going. So we had to pay a ton of money for that. I think the city needs to figure something out when that happens because our neighbors had theirs cleaned out. Somebody down the road had theirs cleaned out. So it wasn't just us who got messed up from this backed up system. But, you know, silver lining, we got our sink in the kitchen fixed. And I'm so excited. And that alone is going to help bring me back some of my energy because I have had to use twice as much, much energy to do the dishes. And we let them stack up until I got to so many. Now I just washed a half a sink load of dishes because I was able to. So talk about excited about doing dishes, right? Anyway, I'm excited. So that was fantastic or feline, <laughs> fantastic feline fiesta Friday. F, 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 F. Fantastic feline fiesta Friday. At the feast. Showing you all that and my the 100 project. I, I almost forgot about that for a minute there. And um, I'm hoping to come back to you later to talk about my cow because I'm finally started to start the next step on the cow, on my second cow. We did the one which was for um, Valentine's Day. This one's going to be a market bag. So I'm picking out which market bag I want to do, and hopefully I will be back later today, and if not today, tomorrow, to talk about the second cow. I'm hoping to have started this next Tuesday. I have to check and see if I have any doctor's appointments and the times and stuff. But if I remember right, the times that were good is 5 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So... If a different time is good for you, let me know. But I plan on, for two weeks, Tuesday and Thursday, getting together and crocheting on this crochet along. And I'll let you know what pattern I find. And it will be a free pattern. And um, I'm excited. And I will open my room up and we can all go and do into my room virtually and sit and crochet together. So... You know if you're interested down below and let me know if 5 p.m. EST does not work for you. Actually, now that I think about it, it may have been 6 p.m. EST. Let me know if that does not work for you and if what time is a good time for you if that does not work. Please comment below and please, especially if you're interested and if that, you know, if that time doesn't work, make sure you let me know because I want this to be bigger than the last time. Last time there was like three of us. So even if I can get four this time, that would be fantastic. And I know somebody said she couldn't do it the first time, but she planned on being back for the market bag. So I will be back later to let you know, and I will talk to you later. Remember, you matter. Don't let anybody tell you differently. And you're beautiful and gorgeous. And I love all of you. I knew it. Time to get up. Let's say hi. It's camera shy today. I hope I stay feeling like this. I am so tired of being sick. And so tired of being tired. Yesterday, I couldn't even get my head up off the couch. I was so exhausted. So, hoping to be back. Full of energy. And I have um, charms to show you. I got some more resin charms in, some that you've seen before, and um, some new ones that you haven't seen yet. So let me know below too if you want to see the charms before I make stitch markers out of them or if you want to see them after. So I got to sit down and start making some stitch markers too. Maybe later today I'll get some done. I don't know, but I got to get caught up on my cat toys and I don't want to make just rings. So. Um, it's going to take me a bit to get caught up. I will talk to you guys later. Love you. You're beautiful, gorgeous. And I'm so excited to be feeling excited. So, talk to you later.